A judge's ruling today puts a stop to a controversial gun ban in Seattle's public places. King 5's Owen Lay has the story live at Seattle Center. And Owen, you talked to someone with a somewhat surprising take on today's ruling. Well, yeah, surprising because he was someone who was actually shot, in fact, right here in front of thousands of people at Seattle Center. Still a month from his 21st birthday. That's the entrance wound right there, and then it came out right there. And Josh Penaluna already has scars from a life-changing moment. It shattered this entire ulnar wrist bone. Back in 2008, during Seattle's Folklife Festival, a man shot and injured both Penaluna and his then-girlfriend, Sarah Thorsness. So you might think they'd both support a gun ban in Seattle's public areas. But Penaluna says he believes it would not have prevented what happened. What can you do when somebody shoots you from the back? That's why they're glad about today's judge's ruling. It declares the firearms ban null and void and gives the city 30 days to take down all the no gun signs posted at parks around town. The Second Amendment Foundation is enthusiastic about its victory. The politicians in Seattle really have to get over their anti gun bigotry and realize we have certain laws and protections and freedoms in this country and they need to stand up and protect them, not attack them. The Seattle City Attorney's Office tells King Five they are still weighing options on appealing the ruling, but at least one gunshot victim says he hopes they won't. He believes the ban was more about politics than safety. I'm very glad that there's enough smart people out there that are able to figure this out and not let uh, some selfish politician get his way. Now, even though former mayor Greg Nichols was the one who enacted the gun ban, Mayor Mike McGinn has supported it and, in fact, was later named in the lawsuit. Today, McGinn released a statement saying, quote, I am disappointed in today's ruling. Cities should have the right to restrict guns in playgrounds, pools, and community centers where children are present. He then adds that it's time for the state legislature to change that law. Reporting live in Seattle, Owen Lang, King 5 News. Owen, thank you.